What's going on guys, it's Baron. Tim bringing you guys another tutorial, and this is going to be on how to make an isometric uh, kind of logo slash AVI type of deal. And uh, if you guys don't know what this looks like here, I'll show you the Cinema 4D kind of render that we will be doing. So, uh, this is it. This is just a Cinema 4D render. Obviously, we do a lot more in Photoshop, but here's just a little render, and our full outcome will look something around like this. So... It's really easy to do, really simple, looks really clean, so it's my current AVI, so let's get right into it. So, I have my Lightroom, my isometric Lightroom myself already done, and uh, if you guys don't have this, it will be in my cell file, there'll be a link in the description to purchase, I believe it's only $2, let's go check it out. Yeah, it's $2 for the Lightroom, so uh, yeah, and I also have other stuff like PSDs, um, a new logo. If you guys want to purchase this logo, I'm going to be using it, and I will throw this logo in with the concept stuff. So, uh, only one purchase can be allowed, so right after the person buys it for $5, I take it right off, and that's about it. But, uh, let's get right into the tutorial. So, what I did is went to my render settings, and I made the width and height to 1000, and then I just kept that like that. If you guys can't go on the isometric setting yourself, go to camera, axometric, and then just go to isometric, and it goes to that yourself. So, I really highly recommend this Lightroom since I do have my mats here, and um, it's just really nice. So, uh, let's get right into it. So, we're going to go to File, Merge, and we're going to pull out our, uh, like our AI file. If you guys don't know how to make an AI file, uh, please let me know. That will be my next tutorial, obviously, since this is probably the most important thing. And uh, I have 11 paths, so I will drag those out of the, the null. And then I'm going to go to this green thing and then go to Extrude Nerbs. I'm gonna make 11 of them so all right and then I just keep dragging these on and uh, as you see it just fills up the space of the logo slowly so while I'm doing this um if you guys don't follow me on Twitter obviously you guys uh, I've been doing a lot of concept logos lately if you're interested in purchasing one I will leave a link in the description to my Behance and then if you guys want to like, contact me my Skype and or email will be in the description but uh, there's $7 for a regular one that I have to make, and there's like $5 for pre-made ones that I've made before. So yeah. So obviously we have the just the extrude nerbs out here. So what we're going to do is highlight all of them, go to mode, and go to object. And we're going to bring out the height, or the, what it, the Z to about like 2,000, 2.5 k And then we're going to send a hit the rotating tool, and then we're going to go to like the middle space where there's no like actual like blue, green red and you're just gonna kind of drag it and um i would just drag it this way first and then gotta start angling it so and then you can just grab your other moving tool and just kind of drag it in and then you can start messing with the, the other angles so it's all preference i guess so what I can do is just take this and then I'll move it into the center. And then if I like go to my render and I'll click in the middle one and go to render region, I can pretty much highlight the area I want to render just like Gaizo. So it'll just render this and I think that looks fine. So what I'm going to do with this is I'm going to add my blue mat to all of them. So before I do that, I'm going to highlight all my extrude nerves. I'm going to group them using alt j alt j or alt g one of those and then you're going to add the mat onto it if you guys don't have them this mat uh here's the color it's two for g and then 135 for uh blue and then you're going to control uh control c control v the actual like other null you're going to oh sorry i did that too fast you're going to copy this and then you're going to go delete them like the mat on the other one highlight all extrude nerves and then put put this down to like two and then you can just grab this uh you gotta highlight all of these on the null and just kind of bring it up until it pokes out. And then you can add a white mat just onto the first null. And if you re-render preview this or you can just render region like I'm doing, you'll get this. Alright, so what I'm gonna do is now I'm gonna render preview this, so I'll go to like the little render setting, go to save, and then I'll put this onto V1 alpha channel it's always a PNG and I'll render that so this might take a little while oh. 
So, do, do, do this almost done. And it's time. So, the next thing we're gonna do is go to this blue mat, control C, control V, click it, and then click the actual color, and then I'm gonna bring it up, and I'm gonna bring it closer to the light blue. So here's 0, 119, 210. And then I'm gonna drag it onto the null so it changes the color. And if I re-render preview that just to see the color, alright, yeah, that's fine. I'm gonna go to back to this and I'll change the output to like V2. So I have two co two colors of blue. So we can like kind of like mix with both of them. Alright, so you're gonna go into Photoshop now, so after you're done with like Cinema 40, so you can just close out of that. Alright, you can go to Photoshop and you're gonna make a file and open v1. And then you're gonna go file open v2. And you're just gonna take the v2 and drag it into v1. And then kind of put this over here. Put it below the blue one and then kind of lower the opacity like that. Next thing you're gonna do is gonna go to a new layer and then you make it white and then you're gonna duplicate it and then you're gonna change your black color to about a like a scion like a light blue teal almost like a baby blue and then you're gonna make sure the white's on top and you're gonna filter render clouds and it's gonna do that and you put this above everything and you're just gonna lower the opacity like that and then you're just gonna click like around And then you can just mess with the opacity too. And click like other spots. Alright, next thing I'm gonna do is go into my banner template if you guys don't have that. I'm pretty sure most of my subscribers use my layout. It'll be linked in the description for that, but it includes this amazing CC that enhances stuff. So I just drag that in to V1, drop it down, and it changes the color. And then I can mess with the opacity of that. All right, and we're gonna make a, another new layer, make it white, and then we're gonna take this baby blue and we're gonna kind of put it halfway so it's kind of white. Go to filter, render, clouds, and we're gonna make more clouds, put them above everything. Lower the opacity once again, and just kind of like click the logo and click around. And just click, make sure the edges are kind of clicked out. All right, and then you guys can finish it off. If you guys like make a new layer, you just make a white and put like a dot up here with your uh, pen tool, and then curve it down like that, and then just make like a box. Go to filter, fill path, and then fill it with your foreground color, which mine's white, and then you can just lower the opacity, and it makes like a nice clean streak. But I'm not gonna do that. But here's a clean uh, isometric AVI slash logo thingy. So that's pretty awesome. Um, it's really easy to do. Obviously, I just did it in I think like below 10 minutes, eight minutes and 30 seconds. If you guys want to purchase my uh, my logo, like this logo with uh, everything that I've made with it, um, there'll be a link in the description for my cell phone where you can purchase that. You can also add me on Skype and go from there. But if my cell phone link doesn't work, say it's like the page is down or it does not exist anymore, that's because someone bought it. So I'm sorry, but you're too late. But always check out my cell phone. I'll be putting new logos and more stuff in there probably like every week or something. But uh, yeah. So if you guys have any tutorial suggestions or anything like that, please answer in the form below or comment. I think I'm going to start going back to more Photoshop stuff. But if you guys like the isometric Cinema 4D stuff, please let me know. But uh, yeah, I really hope you guys enjoy this tutorial. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, please let me know. And uh, make sure to like and comment this video. Peace out, guys.